What's going on everyone? Connor here from Gear Reviews bringing you another video. Today I wanted to start off my series on the Osprey Camber 32 Ski and Snowboard Backpack. I've been looking at this bag for a little while now. Sadly, I won't really be able to use it because of the lockdown in Ontario. It looks like an amazing bag. Today I want to just go through my first impressions of the bag. I want to go through the initial thoughts I have when looking at some of the features. I'll do more videos where I go through all of the features that the bag has in depth and explain it all and really give some more information on them. So make sure you subscribe so that you can see that content when it comes out. But for today, let's take a first look at the Osprey Camber 32 Ski and Snowboard Backpack. The first thing that really catches my eye on this bag is the nice combo of colors. So you have this sort of black, gray, green here that you can kind of see. Depends on how you look at it or how the light hits it, depending if it's really black or if it's really sort of that gray green color, but it is a nice look. And then you've also got some nice red here on a zipper and then the blue splash here and the blue back panel as well. Nice colors that don't stand out too much, but also still give the bag a really nice look to it. Another great thing that catches my eye is the hip belt system that it has. So the hip belt here is really sort of padded, looks comfortable, usable. It also has a couple pockets on it, which will be nice if you want to store, you know, a cliff bar or any kind of snack or your phone and it's close at hand. The hip belt system looks like it's going to be able to secure the bag onto you really well. It's going to hold it in place. You're not going to really have to worry about it bouncing around as much. It also has some different adjustments for the straps themselves, as well as a sternum strap. So a lot of customization there in order to secure it to your body and get that really comfortable fit so that when you're going down the hill or the mountain, you don't have to worry about your bag bouncing around, throwing your weight off. Just an overall really good setup on the shoulder straps and the hip belt in order to help secure that onto you. When I was researching and looking at what backpack to get for those longer and bigger ski adventures that I was planning to go on, the thing that really drew me to getting an Osprey bag was really the overall setup of how they add special features. So on this bag, you've got things like a goggle pocket up here, really simple, has that sort of nice soft lining in it. They've also got a way to attach your helmet to it, which is stored up in there. You've got the straps here that will allow you to hook up snowboards, and skis or poles. The last thing that really caught my eye when I first was looking at the bag for this video is the skeleton setup on the back. With the really nice shoulder straps and hip belt, it's just the overall design that it seems to have with this skeleton. It looks dependable and rigid and it's gonna be comfortable to wear, but also really sturdy so that you're not gonna have to worry about it. It's just one of the things that caught my eye when I first looked at the bag. I'll definitely be going more in depth looking at the skeleton and the whole setup of the bag in in general. My first impressions on the Camber 32 liter from Osprey are that I think the overall specific features that it's set up for skiing and snowboarding and those, you know, backcountry adventures are really well placed and designed. I think the helmet, goggles, the systems to attach your skis and snowboard to are really well thought out. So I'm really interested to see how they actually work and I will do a video putting my skis on the backpack. And then also the overall setup of the back panel with the straps and the hip belt and the skeleton really drew my attention to it. Let me know what you guys think of the Camber 32 liter down in the description. Also, you can find my Instagram and TikTok in the description. I'll definitely be doing more videos on the Camber 32 liter and a bunch of other gear that I have. So make sure you subscribe. But for now, we'll see you all in another video.